Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to again, last day of Split 1. Technically, obviously I'm aware these videos are going to be uploaded as Split 2 comes out. I do have a question for you. I'm going to upload this one or whatever. Like, even if I, let's say, play five, six, seven more games that I get back to Diamond 1, do you want to see that on the YouTube channel? Or would you rather me just straight away get back into, you know, Split 2 placements and start uploading that? Let me know. I actually am not sure how people are going to, you know, I don't know. But some people will probably want to be like, oh, I want to see what happened at the end of Split 1. But I know some people are like, oh, let's just get on with Split 2. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Obviously, I am going on um, just again, make the announcement. It doesn't really obviously affect the YouTube channel because I do the two videos a day every day anyway. But... Uh, I am going away on a mini holiday this weekend. I'm going to be away Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then um, I that is kind of like a mini holiday. I then am actually home alone for nearly, well, for like three or four days. It's basically Queen Pleb, my wonderful girlfriend, her family has booked out like this really big house for the summer that all like family members can come and visit to like, you know, aunties and uncles and all of us can kind of stay there for a week. I'm not staying there for a week because obviously in the middle of August, I'm actually having my, let's say, proper holiday. It's my international holiday. I'm going away. So they're, they're all cool with me just going there for like a long weekend and then dropping Queen Pleb and Little Miss Maya off. And then I'll go at the end of the week to pick them back up. Um, So in the middle of the week, so the Tuesday, the Wednesday, and maybe the Thursday, I'm going to be basically home alone. So I've thought on those days, it'll be, you know, it's going to be split two. I'm probably going to do some big old long streams, because why not? That sounds fun. Don't know why we are against a Zeri mid, by the way. We just have to make it to level six. That's all we got to do. He's about to hit level two. So yeah, we'll probably do some big old long streams. Uh, Tuesday, obviously, I don't do the gym. Wednesday, we do the gym, but I'll stream after the gym. And then Thursday will stream, whatever. But yeah, Tuesday will be the main long stream. Perfecto. So again, see how much patient I had at level one. I'm now basically not really behind in farm. It looked like you were miles behind or you're not getting any. You just got to be patient because what's the point of like trying to get some farm at like level one and just getting completely bursted out <laughs> and then not being able to farm at all down the line. I'm surprised my bot lane died, but was a Rek'Sai gank. Rek'Sai, I think, is still on this patch the strongest uh, jungler. Presumably, Rek'Sai is getting some nerfs. Does anybody else just do... I, I, I do sometimes find it quite funny. If you actually overall think about balance and stuff in League of Legends, it is... If you actually look at it as a broad perspective, it is hilarious. Because all that basically is, is Riot buff something. Oops, we made it too OP. Oh, we'll nerf that. And it's just... It's a constant back and forth. Like, the game is, like, never basically balanced. It's a constant back and forth. Of what? We made that too OP. Nerf it. Oh, we made that thing too OP. I'll nerf it. The hell were you trying to do then? Like, even if I didn't have my Udyr nearby, by the way, that was still a quite a bad gank. It does get rid of my kill. Oh, it's a shame Rex I didn't have actually any um, buff. The Rex I went bot lane, got a gank, and without doing even their own blue, they were looking for another gank straight away. Hmm. Surprising in a way. Yeah, Sven, Sven has a... Honestly, I do think that is true, is they, they, they don't try to balance the game. They just change the game for the state of, like, for the sake of change. It is partially true, and the reason why that is true is because League is an old game. And the part of the reason of like why League still, you could say, exists is because they do keep it, you know, somewhat fresh. The game has had relatively the same feel now for a couple of years, in my opinion, but it is the same feel of game, but in slightly different makeup every every patch, if that makes sense. Now, that might be a weird way to say it, but that's the best way I can say it is 
it's you've got the same face, but you're just putting different makeup on, you know? That's how it feels like League and their balance in modern day. That's really good by the Udyr, by the way. He just annihilated the Rek'Sai. He made Re uh, Renekton leave lane early, and then he made Zeri leave lane, and she didn't get anything. Really good by the Udyr. And I'm nearly level 6, and that's when, in theory, Zeri can't do much anymore in lane phase, is when I hit level 6. I can just apply so much pressure. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this video can be titled, Why You Don't Pick AD Carries Mid. That is, in my mind, what this video hopefully is titled. I'm hoping I'll show you. Yeah, Cassante, he is LGBTQ+. Plus. He is uh, the first, I think, official gay character League has got. Oh, that's bad. This Rek'Sai is just ganking like crazy. No, Graves and Twisted Fate aren't gay. They're best friends, aren't they? Are they? Oh no, I remember that. The, d the original designer of them, he, they wanted to make them gay. Maybe they are now. But back then, Riot wasn't as progressive. So Riot actually said no initially. Um, I think they retconned it that they actually are now. Varus is technically gay, but he's... That's a bit of a different situation. Because with Varus, it's technically two different... Well, it's three entities in one body. It's two... It's a, it's a couple that got made and merged into Varus. So Varus the Darkin technically isn't. But who makes the dark in the, the two men that were put in to making the dark in are executed. oh my god they got executed what again just to say representation i know to some people like they don't get it representation is really important if you're somebody that is sitting there angry about having gay video characters and stuff the likelihood of you being a white straight male is very, very high because you've had representation your whole life. So you don't get why it's important to have other people having that representation because you've always been represented. That's the point. Eh. If I really committed to that, she was dead, but I think I also would have died and I don't really want to. Still around? Oh, I'm just being camped by a Rek'Sai. In what world would that Zeri stay around? Well, I guess they played to be annoying. Wait, why am I bot lane losing? That should be a... It's a Malphite support, for God's sake. They should be fine. the heck and they're blaming our jungler who's actually doing pretty good man these players just are annoying very annoying people and it is obviously as i've said it's the last day of seat split one we're gonna have a lot of bad players about today I've pinged them and they don't listen. Oh, please listen to basic pings if you're an actual diamond player. Holy moly. To be the most basic thing is listening to pings. 
Your mid lane again? How much is this? Is this a jungle person that's playing? Like, are they actually a mid lane main? Because they're mid more than they're in their jungle. Crazy. Somehow I'm winning in farm by a decent amount to a Zeri. This Senna. Holy moly, she cannot survive. She must be getting, like out positioning herself all the time and just getting Malphite altered. I was going to say, where's Rek'Sai? Bot lane. Oh, this game's going to be difficult just with how bad our bot lane is. Oh, you think Zeri and Rek'Sai are duo? Yeah, true. That might be what's happening. Oh, I missed. I think they're going to stay. I doubt they're going to stay, but I'm going to run bot lane. Oh, I'm not. If they stay together, they can kill that Zeri easily. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. Rek'Sai damage is ha ha high. Twenty seconds to my ult. I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know if Zeri used flash up in top lane. She used ghost. If I hit my ult, I don't know. I haven't. Got, I've got a lot of gold. I need to got two k gold. Should I really be going for a kill right now? How do you know? What? This is so boring. League of duo cures. League of duo cures. This is why people don't rate duo queue players, because you're not an individual. They're always alone. But then they're always here. Oh my god. Because again, like if you take away their duo queueness, god, they'd be so much lower as an actual ranked player. Because their whole strategy is relying on duo. I really do wish the Senna was respecting the Malphite though. I don't get what she's doing. My tower's dead. Hmm. Okay. I think this is a relatively free win, but it's just an annoying one because of... I am being camped so I can't pop off. And my bot lane's sucking. The Twitch chat has confirmed the Zeri and Rex IR duo. I mean, the Zeri is doing nothing at all individual. Hey, look, you're dead. They're doing nothing individual. They're completely relying on their Rex I permanently being mid. Because, I, again, contrary to popular belief, I don't mind duos that don't do stuff like this. If you do have an individual player identity, but you're just doing, it's still an advantage, but I don't mind as much. Stuff like this, where the Zeri has literally done sod all, apart from when Rek'Sai has been camping, that bugs me. 
And I think that it's the same for most people who don't like duoing. If, if people do it, they, it's still an advantage, 100%. If you're doing, but you're not actively, you know, only camping for each other, whatever. Still an advantage, but at least it's not like cringy. Hey, nice shutdown. I'm gonna go get a Sheen. Am I even head bot lane? Do I go try to kill Misfortune? No. Costco member. I wish I had a Costco nearby. I straight up. I'm jealous of Costco. Hey, look, the duo's together again. And Senna's still feeding. This game shouldn't be hard. <sighs> Wonder if I can bait Malphite ult. Oh, he's all the way down. I was waiting for it, man. I'm going to go bot lane because they're going to just prop like send his rage quit bot. So they're just kind of now teaming up on the Ziggs. And whenever they team up on him, if I'm there, I think we kill both of them. No, I didn't want you to leave. I wanted you to be my bait. Shark bait, hoo ha and all that stuff. Oh, the duo's dead again. Good job, duos. Great play. Wait, we just won again for free. What is going on? Hey, Lauren. Victory. What? They just surrendered. Well, we climb in. I guess the duo, because obviously they just started feeding like mad. Oh no! What is that? 23? 23? 23 is bad. Oh my god. See, like, right now, if I was getting 25 LP per win, two more, uh, two more wins and I'd be back in Diamond 1. So wait, what? The enemy team just quit. Wow, Misfortune did no damage whatsoever. Well, this is a weird game. I'm, I'm, the only thing that I'm guessing, all right, is their top laner wasn't doing very good as a Renekton. He's going to fall off. They know that. Their duo queue was getting wrecked. And obviously when a duo queue gets wrecked, because they take up, you know, two of the vocal positions in the chat, they can be quite vocal, pinging, surrendering. And because they usually also ping the same person, they both rage the same way. So you had three people that were kind of losing. And then you have an AP Malphite that's basically doing the best on your team. So that is also not really the best. Only one of them said no, but I obviously we don't know who. That was just weird. Did they type? What FF is that? Yeah, it was Misfortune. Misfortune's really confused. Why FF that? I'm going to be honest, I think we were going to win the game quite easily, but I'm surprised they surrendered because what they, before a surrender, what they should have done is try, you know, don't have Misfortune and Malphite permanently bot lane move them to mid lane and try to do a wombo combo play. And with how strong both of those were, yes, the Misfortune didn't have much damage, but she was, she has items. If they did a wombo, then they potentially could have killed two or three of us and maybe got a snowball going. But I don't know. They just didn't. That was really weird. Bringing up the old load of Meduna, and yeah, I can see it myself. They were duo. And again, a bit of a weird situation too. So again, they're both not like the highest level accounts. Level 43, though, is obviously some bought or boosted account. And then level 120 is still quite low. Main band Olaf. So again, that's a fresher account as well. 
we had a duo, which was the Udi. Oh, oh, so the Udi was doing with the Ziggs and reminding everyone that Udi wasn't really going bot lane. They were getting wrecked in bot lane, but it was the Senna that was getting wrecked. The Senna was raging at the Udi, but then his his duo was in lane. So most likely what was happening was the Ziggs was probably saying into his duo, like, no, 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 don't come bot lane. The Senna's not very good. You just focus on what you're doing. And that's what he did. Huh. Very odd. Very, very odd. But yeah, always satisfying to beat a Zeri mid. Obviously, we got a very, very, very easily uh, solo queue, a solo kill uh, during the game on Zeri because she shouldn't really be mid. Anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed another free win there, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore.